Hey guys, it's Wood Concept here, and I have captured the rare brown sheep. Brown is the only color that I don't have in my shop right now, and it has a lot of catching up to do. I, I've got over nine stacks of every other type of wool, and I am quite a bit away from spawn. Now luckily, before... Uh, seeing this sheep, I saw the entrance to the stronghold that I built somewhere over here. I think it's right over this corner here. Actually, I'm going to go this way around this water pool. Yeah. I need a... I'm not exactly sure where it is from here, but I know I saw it. Um... Hmm. Maybe it's over there more. Yeah, I think it's... gets over here. Aha! There it is. So before I make the trip in the nether, I want to breed this guy. Just so... In case I mess up or he falls in the lava or... Otherwise doesn't make it. I want there to be a backup. Uh, but I have no weed on me. I do have bones. And I can get cobblestone to make a hoe. And there's plenty of grass here. Seed. Uh, I'm going to need two seeds. Two seeds. So let me get some stone right here. Um, about to be night time. Of course, I have to make another crafting table because I don't have any <laughs> on me. Uh, so I'm going to make this into a bed. And then I will make... I probably don't need that many sticks, but... Stone hoe. And there was some water over there. You know, I could have used the crafting table in the tunnels down there. Or the bed that's down there. Oh, hello there. You're spawning in early. And there goes OT. Alright. So, where was that water pool that I saw? Is it quite a distance over here? Does it really matter because I'm using bone meal, but... May as well. Oh, plus I've got a bucket of water on me. <laughs> awesome. So I've got my two wheat. May as well grow some more. Alright, sheep. Breed. <laughs> and yes, little brown one. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Uh, so what I'm going to do is knock this off, but put you on it. Uh, this is my... I do have six um, sticks. Yeah, I'm not using this one for this little sheep here. There you go. And... Okay, I got my other lead. And I'll leave that there. Why not? Almost forgot this guy. So yeah, this is the entrance to the stronghold right here. I'm going to have to break that to get him in here. Um, here, let's bring you down a little bit, and I'll do that. So come on down. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Oh, sheep. And now you're glitchy. So, let's see. I'm gonna push you. Let's get my leads on my bar here. Did I? Oh, yeah. Derp. So, let's push you through. Hopefully you actually go through here. 
And there he is. Awesome. Oh. He's going to want to go through that portal as well. Um, sorry, I think it's Tyler, but I'm digging around. I'll probably come back and fix this at some point. But yeah. Oh, yeah, you... You're going to stay here while I make this safe. And hopefully this isn't long enough for you to go wander off into there. Yeah, because he's only one high, he can fall down into there. And that will break his lead. So what I'm going to do... Is this. Yes, these guardrails here are good for people, not so much for animals. And it would help if these pigmen would get out of the way. But, you know. Alright, should be safe now. Okay, sheep did not do anything weird. Take that. Let's go. I need to bring him back to the spawn portal. Uh, don't hear any ghasts, which is a good thing. You know what? I may bring him... Yeah, I'm going to bring him to my area. Uh, should I? I'm not gonna. I'm gonna bring it all the way back. Now, don't go into OT's portal. <laughs> don't you do it. Okay, good. Now, this is where it can get dangerous, although this path is wide enough, you shouldn't decide to jump up. Alright, come on over here. Come on in. Oh, I may have... Oh, no, I got that lead. Where is he? There he is. Now, don't be going back through. <laughs> what are you doing? Get up here. Come on. Come on. Let's get And chunk error. Chunk error, yes, yes, yes. Alright, almost there. And now I've run out of things to say. <laughs> So once I get this guy back, I'll have all the colors. I should probably show you guys what's going on in um, the shop there as well. Get down here. And yeah, so I've got a space open for him. And since he's a brown, he shouldn't mix colors with whatever I breed him with. He'll just choose one uh, color or the other. I highly doubt I'm going to get lucky twice. So I've had this green sheep in here since a while now. Um, so yeah, let me get some wheat. But yes, this is my sheep army. I've got 16 of each type except for brown, which I've only got one, of course, and orange, which somehow I ended up with 21. Don't know how I did that, but I did. So it's probably going to give a green one. Oh, another brown. Awesome. So that means. Yeah, I'm going to. Goodbye, green. 
All right, so I'm I'm going to show you the stock of my um, oops my shop up here. I haven't had anything um, bought so far, but it's only been up for about a day now. So I can take this down and take this back. Put this in here. But yes, I've got well. Red and gray here, I'm going to have the most of because I already had a few stacks. Um, but yeah, I've got quite a bit of each. I have at least nine stacks of each type of wool. Uh, and orange, I'm going to have quite a bit as well because I've got that 21 rather than 16. I may breed them all to have 20. Uh, actually, I think I have 20 now because I think I killed one of the orange. But yeah, I think I may breed them all to get 20, because I get like 40 orange wool per harvest, um, versus half a stack of each of the other type of wool, or somewhere around there. So, yeah, I'm going to breed those brown sheeps. I'm probably going to get quite a bit of them. Uh, in fact, I may dig this out a little bit more add like a uh, catch-up type pen uh, or like high demand pen and um, just have an army of sheep in there with that color so yeah this is my wool farm and that's about it for this clip so moving on to the next thing alright so I found out what I'm going to be doing for the rest of this video so, I accidentally stumbled upon the building of a prank. So I was over here uh, at the... Where'd that go? I was over here at the barn. Uh, just... I don't remember what exactly I was doing, but I, I noticed I was short on iron on, in my inventory. I think I had just used most of the rest of it to buy another stack of chicken. Uh, and so I, I remembered that there's a furnace over in my new shop that had something like 30-some iron. So I came up here, not, not really thinking too much about anything. I uh, kind of go like this, look down so I, so I wasn't looking at anything. Got to about here and looked up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and there's Alex, I think. There's somebody. Nope, that was yeah, that was Alex. All right. So yeah, I stumbled upon this in in the works. I guess Alex decided that it wasn't woolly enough. So I'm guessing that they bought wool from my shop to <laughs> to build this. So yeah, uh, if I uh, scroll up here, where where was it? Uh, right here. This this is where I saw I saw nothing. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'll let you guys read the rest of this. Um, so yeah. I'm, I'm thinking that this was, well, I don't know about OT, but it was definitely Alex. Uh, yeah, it's, okay, I need to mute Skype. Alright, so yeah, I, I literally came through here, looked up, saw stuff, saw two people on the roof, turned around and left, <laughs> and just went uh, to my mob grinder for a while. Um... Yeah, and repaired my legs. Uh, my helmet is actually unrepairable, so... So yes, stumbled across, <laughs> across a prank. Let's, let's read these boards here. Alright, hello Mr. Void. We have increased the quality of your shop. Hopefully this will up your sales and increase profits uh, by a noticeable margin. Uh, you're more than welcome for free service. Signed, OT and B. So, yeah, it was OT. I knew they were in Skype together. <laughs> uh, let's see. 
Yep. Well, I don't think I have to worry about iron for a while now. <laughs> Let's see how much how much did they take? Eh, quite <laughs> quite a bit. So let me get that iron out of the furnace just 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 because. So yeah, back here. Sheep again. 28 iron. Okay. So I'm not sure if I want to leave this a little bit. Maybe get rid of these floating guys. But, yeah. I was thinking of ways to make or integrate wool into the um, shop a little bit more. Already. I didn't think to slap it all on top of the roof here. <laughs> but yeah, I'm going to leave that. Uh, but I will take down all of these random floating things so that people can build around here a little bit easier. Uh, so yeah, clean up video. that all of them? I think that may be. Don't see any other random balloons. <laughs> I think that's what they're supposed to be, since they were all floating. See another fence on there. A couple more wool on top of here. But yeah, I'm, I'm definitely putting these back in the shop. There doesn't seem like too many. Um, at least that were floating around. We'll see if they did something else because that was... that's quite a lot of wool gone for... yeah I don't <laughs> I don't know maybe they bought some for their own use as well? Hmm. So yeah. <laughs> Thanks Alex and OT for spicing up my shop a little bit. <laughs> And actually, that may, uh, the bigger roof here may actually make it so that I can properly display a uh, malevolent sheep here, kind of up above instead, uh, as long as he doesn't fall down. But yeah, oh, they took some of... <laughs> Uh, maybe I'll have to change the roof in here a little bit as well to include some of that. So yeah, I think that's probably going to be long enough for this video now, so uh, as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later. And I will be pranking somebody soon, I don't really have a prank for either one of them right now, but I do have a prank that I've had in my mind since like uh, the first time I watched a certain somebody's episode. So that will be soon. Probably not next episode, but soon. <laughs>